Hi, my name is and in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own emotion icon system or they are sometimes called um, emoticons so first of all I am just going to show you a structure I've got up here and um, this is basically I've got an index page and an images folder inside the images folder are just three um, icons well they're not icons they're actually just uh, PNG files of um, you know some of a smile, LOL, and a heart, um, and they are by 20 by 20 pixels, so quite small, um, you know, an icon size basically. But they are just uh, PNG files. Um, now that's that. What I'm going to show you now is. Um, if you don't know where to get them, you can just Google them and then just reduce the size in Photoshop or whatever. Um, also, if you go to Google and type in emoticons, um, then I think if you go to emoticons and Messenger, the um, MSN page, um, it gives you a list of loads of them and it also tells you the uh, the code, the, well, the most common codes, should I say. Um, so you've got quite a few there to choose from if you just want to use this simple standard version what I'm going to show you now um, and apart from that um, last thing I want to show you is the database um, I have basically if I just come out I have two tables one called chat log and one called emoticons in the chat log it's basically just a just a simple chat between two people I've got here which as you can see we've got the smiley face there which we're going to change um, a Heart there and the LOL there, which we're going to change. Um, basically, this is just a simple version of a chat log. Yours might be slightly different, but it might not even be in the database, it might be something posted through. I don't know, but whatever. And then in the emoticons table, it's basically just chars and image. Um, basically, I've got the character of the emoticon and the image it represents. Okay, so. I think that's just about all I have to show you. Now onto the PHP. Um, I've basically just got a simple database connection set up there so we can um, use a database. Right, so let's start. So the first one I'm going to do is get the chat log. So chat log query equals um, MySQL underscore query. And this is just going to be select all from um yeah log simple query there and then basically what I want to do is just get the content so while row is equal to my screen underscore associative array okie doke so first we want to get the from so from is equal to row and um, the from table will leave field two and the message row message there right so now all we can need to do is basically inside here um, what I'm going to do is echo out just a few things um, so we're going to check out the from um, I'm going to can it onto that the from there. Uh, we'll put a break. Okay, start again from the two. Alright, so this way it gets a bit different now with the message. First of all, I'm just going to echo out. Um, well, actually, it stays the same, but it's going to be slightly different in when we get in the message from the, uh, you know, the emoticon. So, so at the moment, I'm just going to leave it as message and cut it. Well, it will be the same as this. We're just going to override the variable. Um, so message. Actually, I'm going to cut it a break before that 
and then echo out the message and then simple two breaks just to move it down two lines right so let's see what we've got oops I've done wrong line 15 you see why I live my scanner's good for just so right that's not called query it's called chat log query Fresh, there we go. We've just got a simple messaging page here on the page. So now what we need to do is change these symbols, well the the characters, um, if they are found in the database, basically. So in that, um, in this emoticon table in the database. So first of all, if we come up here. We create another while loop. So basically, we create a while loop inside a while loop, and this is for the oh, gone query. No, not yet. Query. There we go. And um, basically, this is going to just be a select all again from. Okay, and then row. Our row is equal to. Um, MySQL basically that goes in there right um, and now we get the chars for the characters so from the database so basically it is we're getting this so we're selecting all the uh, well, we're getting the line by line. We're going to get this character, and if this character is found in the the message, we're going to replace it with this. So we do need to put an image tag around this. So first of all, let's just get um, what's necessary. So image tag equals row. Basically, what we need to do is add a string around this for the image source. So that's equal to image, um, well, images forward slash. And I'm concatenate it onto that. I can concatenate it back onto this, um, the ending tag there. So that makes it slightly bit messy, but what's needed now the new message is basically going to be an str underscore replace so string replace the first this takes three parameters the first parameter is what you want to change it to basically so at the moment it's chars so we want to change it to or we want to search actually for chars we want to find we want to replace the chars characters if you know what I mean so whatever's in the database here, um, if we find that, we're going to replace it with the image tag, and um, we want to search in the message. So that just so once this is done, it will overwrite this message with the necessary. It will overwrite the message, the original message from the database, with the necessary image tag if it's found. If it's not found, then um, it will just it will still overwrite technically, but it just won't change anything. Okay, um, and that is looking good. I think that should be all right. So let's just tr test this. Refresh, and we saw we as you can see, um, it's been the SDR as as worked. It's replaced the characters. But we're not getting the image shown, so let's just have a look at the code. It's got obviously got to be something with this image tag. Um, let me just have a check images. Yes. Forward slash. Um, let me just have a look at the actual code. What's being brought out onto the page? So image image source. 
um, it's putting a less than sign um, in front so basically that there we don't need that there okay and an hour refresh there we go and basically that's all you need to do and this is just a very simple um, emoticon system which you can basically just you see these um, so people like to type in colon D for open mouth you can basically just save this image um, obviously this comes as a GIF file but if, if you then convert that into PNG or, or you can leave it as GIF if you want um, and put it in a database probably better to leave some of these as GIF seeing as they're animated um, so let's just go through the so if you if that's what you want to know you can start the video here and I'm just going to show you now how to add other images to this collection I suppose so if you find the image you want you click save image um, I'm just going to save this on the desktop for now so teeth smile that'll do um, so if I come out of all this and then basically teeth smile um, let me just check the size well the dimensions rather and that's 19 by 19 that'll do even though these are 20 what I might actually do then is just open this up with because um, it's a gif as well just open this up with photoshop um, let's see it's still coming back as a uh, just one layer so it's not a true gif so I just change this to 20 just to get it the same size and then we can save as what I'm going to do is teethsmile.png just to keep it um, all the same type of um, alright so it's not letting me put it to PNG probably because it's already on oh no, a PNG I didn't see it save that close Photoshop we don't need it which one's the PNG I think it might be this one yep so we can get rid of this one put that in the bin move that into here and then all you have to do is go to your database wherever it is and then just insert a row into here so the chars were colon D so colon D and the image was teeth underscore smile dot PNG click go and that's been added into there so now when someone types in colon D um, it will change to teeth smile so if we just add another one to the chat log here um, so f to ash um, insert from oh, to ash um, haha colon D go okay that's in there um, and then if we just refresh this page there we go that has now been added to the database and the script will automatically just search for them so as long as you've got the image in the images folder and the corresponding values in the emoticon table um, the script will just automatically find this and you know deal with it in the appropriate way so I hope this um, helps get you started I suppose because it is a very simple way um, I hope I will hopefully be doing a more advanced one sometime I don't know when though um, so thanks for watching and I will see you next time